Hello everybody and welcome back to another gear location guide here on Tom Clancy's The Division. Today I'm going to be showing you guys another contaminated zone chest that can be found and this one is at the Madison Field Hospital which is obviously right opposite your base of operations. Probably one of the first main story uh, missions you actually get to. This is the one where you first recruit the doctor to your base of operations. You've got to go and rescue her in Madison Square Garden Arena. Uh, so as you can see on the map right here, I've set a waypoint. There is a contaminated zone and there's actually a locked door to get through, um, which you'll need a lock pick for. Um, so yeah, just basically all you have to do is follow the, uh, the mission. Uh, you come in here, there's a couple of enemies to shoot, things like that. Um, and just make your way to where I'm going now. You follow the mission until you get to the elevators, which will take you to the next floor and that is where we'll be heading for our uh, crate so uh, yeah like I said you will need a lock pick for this these can be found uh, by killing random enemies and picking them up uh, they're not too hard to get hold of um, so yeah once you're in the elevator make your way up and as soon as you exit you want to go to the left hand side uh, and this is the location of the door so as you can see I've got three lock picks use one to unlock this door. Once you unlock this door, you will see that you'll need a required filter of level two, which I believe you can get in the base of operations by just upgrading your wings a little bit. Um, but yeah, head into this contaminated zone, and right at the end of this room on the left hand side, there is a nice beastie looking loot crate. Now these are exactly the same as these specialist loot crates that you get around the map. They're just in contaminated zones, and they always give you blue rarity gear. I've never had any less or any more actually out of these as of yet at this stage of the game um, so yeah it's a nice little upgrade really and you do get some really decent stuff especially as you level up these things are brilliant to open so once again there is a map reference for exactly uh, where in the base uh, sorry in Madison Square Arena it actually is so we'll go ahead and open it up and as you can see I've got myself a nice 9,000 damage per second custom L86A2 which uh, is a nice little weapon actually and I also got a nice vertical grip with it as well so yeah there you go guys that is uh, just another one of these contaminated zone gear location guides some of these contaminated zones you can just walk straight in and open these crates uh, some are obviously like missions where you've got to operate them virus scanners and things like that but they are scattered around the map and I will of course be investigating every single one of them and then showing you guys exactly where the crates are in this to uh, upgrade your gear and this mission can be replayed at any time pretty much so uh, yeah you can uh, come back here as many times as you want pretty sure they're on a reset timer though so uh, you can't obviously come and farm it every two minutes I believe there will probably be like a cooldown I'm not looked into it as of yet what the cooldown is on them but uh, yeah certainly it's every time you come here to do uh, this mission if you want to replay it make sure you bring a lot of people here and go and pick up that crate Anyway guys, that was another Contaminated Zone gear location guide here on Tom Clancy's The Division. Thank you for watching everyone and I will see you guys in the next one.